brown trout crush this tiny spoon. Oh! What? <laughs> Oh dear, it's happened. I took it apart yesterday thinking I could change it from left hand to right hand. I didn't quite put this part back properly because I didn't know how. I've pulled it apart, didn't see how it come apart. I'm pretty much done with the fly today just because I can just come straight off. What do you think a spoon might work, Rich? Change plans. We're going like a little spoon. I think this is a Len Thompson. You want to be casting in shallow and it's kind of imitating a fish leaving the shallows out to deeper water. That's what the trout would be sitting on the sides, getting up into the reeds, looking for this sort of thing, so. Look at this little secluded beach. Just walk up along these reeds. There we go, Rich. Rich was right. Yeah. Rich was right. Oh, oh Christ. Oh, that's a decent fish on the Len Thompson. Oh, my heart is racing hard. Every time I catch a trout, it just, my heart just drops. Oh, oh, it's a nice fish. Gotta get this a stick over here. Oh, my heart is crazy. Awesome. Big fish. Big fish, Rich. Come on, baby. That's an awesome fish. Oh, it's gonna be close, but it's fat. Look at that. Oh, that was so sick. Richie just called it too. After I saw that, there were a couple of fish turning over there. Yeah. I knew you are just gonna, you're gonna get one. Get one. But look at that. That's just a cracking fish. <laughs> well, to go with tradition, it's a 50 centimeter trout, the size I've caught twice already with brownies. I love Patterson. I know I'm chasing that master, but catching a fish like that is just, it's a world-class fish. You don't get fish like that everywhere. So enough porking, let's go again. I just love how Rich called that fish. You'll get one there. It's good to come out with a guy like him because he can teach you so much on a lake that you know is kind of in the winter. I think I've just seen a fish. Oh, there's a fish behind me. Something boiled up right behind me there. I'm gonna cast past him and then slow retrieve back. Don't wanna kinda of cast at it. I like to cast behind it and then run it past it. Oh, there we go. I knew I was fish around here. Oh, oh, oh we're good. Oh, there he goes. Oh wild. These trout are wild. These trout are wild. <laughs> oh, spinning so much better. I love spinning. Oh, he's right here. Oh, shit. It's all happening. It's all happening. He's right at my feet. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to have to hurry. Possibility of losing this fish now. Oh, no, we're good. I oh, need to swim straight back through it. Proper psychos. They're just full of muscle. You can see why they're sought after on fly. And I'm having more fun on spinning. Come on. Not giving up. They do not give up. These things do not give up. Oh, I'm coming loose. Come on. Come on. Look at that. There we go. Tuck that in there. Tuck this in here. What a beautiful full Patterson Lake trout. Just an absolutely gorgeous fish, I'd say 16, 17 inches, but let's get it back. Here we go, buddy. Oh, fish. Fish on. Oh, lost him. Oh, he's back again. Back again. Hit me. Hit me again. Oh, 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 oh wow. Wow. Right at me, right under me. He come back, he come back for that second crack at it. He's just staying down. That was an awesome take. I'd cast in and he just 
come in for a second go. There's some wind right under me. All right, come on, big boy. Nice brownie. And here's Ariel. He's gonna take a while to wear out. Oh, wow. These things fight so hard. Probably one of the hardest fighting fish, honestly, for their size. They're so wide. So they've got so much more power than a general fish. I'm gonna have one chance here. Nice, got him. Oh. I'm gonna go to the shore. Oh jeez. Calm man. So I have no idea if that filmed that fight, but caught this tank brown. Just a beautiful brownie. Just short, 19 and a half incher.